Hey guys, welcome to BP, the Bible Perspective. On the left, you see pictures of progressive politicians and a celebrity. And on the right, you see pictures of conservative politicians and a celebrity. But which one is the Christian view of racism? Now, before we get into it, please like and share this video and subscribe to BP, the Bible Perspective. And as always, if you have a thought or comment, Add it to the comments section below. All comments are welcome. You know, this issue of race continues to come up. And I have to tell you, I was um, I was really stirred with this video um, because, of, well, let me, you know what? Let me do this. I want to show you a picture which stirred me. And then I want to I give you the evolution, the, the, the timeline of this here. Um, this was a this was a Facebook caption um, and it said and I posted this it said I say black lives matter because all lives didn't cover black when they said all men are created equal I say black lives matter because all didn't cover black when they said with liberty and justice for all. I say black lives matter because they're still struggling with the definition of all. Now, I made that, I, I, I reposted that and then I got a response from a Christian brother and basically the Christian brother said, Okay, we get this, right? This is what he kind of said. He said, we get it. We get it, but why can't we move on from that? And then we kind of had a back and forth. And pretty much my back and forth was the same as what that meme said. But then this, the, on the same day, this, this is a false, this is a Facebook photo of course I hid the name it was posted by a Christian brother now I want you to keep the, 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 the that's the headlines real faces of racism and then he posted these progressive um, photos with Al Sharpton now what is what, what's amazing about this is that the both who responded to me, well, the, the one who responded to me and then the one who posted that, they are white. You can you can consider themselves white evangelical conservatives. <clears throat> so so that is why you have that. The one brother said, yeah, we get it. Yeah, understanding. But why can't we move on? And here is my question. Yeah, why can't we move on? It's because of this he's not moving on now I responded to this brother and by the way we, we me and the, the original brother who responded to the Black Lives Matter meme we both know this guy we, we, we've had some interacting with this guy and if I'm not mistaken we're both on his Facebook page now I did respond to him I said if you know the real faces of racism I said if what acts of racist or racism have these congressmen and Al Sharpton what acts have they have they done to be labeled racist now some people call them call like Al Sharpton race hustlers and they are called some of the other ones race hustlers but again define that I even asked him said how do you define racism to be able to say that someone is racist I haven't gotten a, a response back I didn't get a response back from the brother and I, I, I knew I wouldn't if but but that's a part of the new racism where you now they have kind of changed the, the paradigm of this is racist but these guys are not racist now those are progressive, um, I mean, I'm sorry, conservative pundits, politicians, who have each spouse racist. I mean, they have spouse 
racist statements. You could tie direct racist statements to each and every one of these pictures here. And so my question, when I asked the question, which is the Christian view? Because you see, again, the brother who posted, the Christian brother who posted this is reflective of how many white evangelical Christians feel. This is how, this is one of their views. That this is racism. But not this. And if you take the time to post this and then label them racist as Christians, why wouldn't you post this when they make racist statements? And they have. How is it that you don't know the difference between the two? And that is what's amazing to me about this whole issue of racism. The new racism says, hey, let's ignore actual racism, slavery, Jim Crow, the effects, the horror, the evil. But when someone talks about racism, now they're the racist. Now, let me just tell you, where did a lot of this start? Look at these men here. I've posted them before. These are evangelical preachers, conservative preachers and theologians. Each one of them have been tied to racist, not only statements, but also action. In some cases, they run schools, they're pastors of churches. And each of spouse racist statements. And so my thing is that if you're going to say these guys are racist, why wouldn't you say these guys are racist or these guys? And then say this whose racism is worse <laughs> okay look guys this is going to continue to go on and let me just say something last about these guys you see they actually taught racism planted the seeds of racism and so they are part of the problem or i should say were some of them might have repented of their racism in the past but let me just say this that when I say which, <laughs> uh, which is the Christian view, well, obviously it depends on which side of the political for, uh, uh, camp you're in. And that's the shame right here. As I said, this was a Christian brother who posted this and said, these are racist. A Christian brother. Look, guys, that's my perspective. I would love to hear what you have to say in your opinions and your thoughts. Add them to the comments section below. All comments are welcome. And don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to BP The Bible Perspective. Till next time, I'll see you then.